Check out how scared he is of my nails. <laughs> You guys are doing great. Oh my god, I just waved and the guy across the street thought I was waving at him. So embarrassing. Okay, I'm gonna go film this somewhere else. Okay. Okay, the coast is clear. Um, as you guys know, I recently, well, I don't know about recently, you know, time flies. I think it's been a couple months now. Uh, you know how I, I basically quit biting my nails? But you know, I'm under so much stress and my life is in like the not a good place right now to be honest i'm working on fixing it but uh yeah it's a it's a bitch <laughs> i tell you that much but yeah so um i've been lately i've been targeting one nail and biting it and it's just it's bad so i kind of want to try the uh next gen sns powder dip nails it's pretty interesting i just discovered it recently so i'm hoping that'll be better and healthier for your nails than acrylic because <laughs> you know i used to have a a French acrylic nails and the salon basically destroyed my nails permanently um you know because every time I would go in there because you know every time they would remove the acrylic they wouldn't do it the proper way which is you're supposed to soak acrylic nails in acetone you're not supposed to ever allow someone to pry or pop the acrylics off because that'll that'll tear up your nails and they'll damage them permanently and now I have like ridges like waves because the nail bed, um, it's been damaged so much that the nail no longer grows straight. I don't know if I can show you guys. It's kind of hard to show. Yeah, it's, it's too hard to show you guys, but here's what my nails look like. And I'll show you the other hand. So, I don't know. I feel like, um, my nails look kind of like crap. <laughs> and I'm so sick of looking at them. They're so, um... I don't know, I just think French nails are so beautiful, so I'm going to give them a shot and let's see how it goes. But one important thing I wanted to uh, mention, uh, it, uh, if, you, if you do go, if you do guys, if you do guys, if you guys do go to nail salons, it's extremely important that you verify that they use autoclave because you know the, uh, that blue liquid, the herbicide, along with UV lights. They're simply not enough. You got to make sure they have autoclave so that they really fry the crap out of these fungal blah 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 because I know so many people have gotten horrible nail infections even on their hands from going to the salons and you know all these uh, cheapy salons they, they don't use the autoclave which is horrible and you know some states require it. It's illegal to not use the autoclave because even here in Florida I called certain salons and some of them don't use autoclave, autoclave and that's a huge no-no and I'll post a link down below, check it out, it's very important so if you're not familiar with what autoclave is and why it's important that nail salons, even if they have the standard barbicide and UV light, because that's basically a disinfectant. What you need is to make sure you sterilize it, which is what the autoclave is for. That's a real medical... Oh my God, there's a lot of traffic here. And another thing too is, um, you know the where they do the pedicures? If they have a, a jacuzzi, you know that thing that produces those jacuzzi bubbles? The, the bubbles are really cool, they're fun, but the problem is with those piping, even if they clean the tub properly, you you it's the the piping itself is a cesspool <laughs> it's, it's you can't clean it properly so many salons actually do not have the jacuzzi bubbles and you know because you just you just can't properly sanitize that and oof let me tell you foot, foot fungus nail fungus is is nothing to mess around with it's it's a nightmare to get rid of and it's just uh it is some nasty stuff why is my phone doing that wait i don't like that okay and uh, I actually know someone he had to uh, have his toenails permanently removed because he had toenail fungus that bad from going to a salon and the problem is jeez people on a drive the problem is uh, he had his toenail removed but when it grew back it grew back with fungus because the he basically had to have them permanently removed. So he has no toenails. He, he, he did his, his toes simply don't grow toenails. Yeah, it's bad. And this one lady I was speaking to the other day when I went into the salon, 
I really did my due diligence. I went in there. So anytime I go to a new salon, a uh, nail salon, I I make sure I look at it with my own eyes that they have an autoclave. They're not just telling me they have it. I want to know their procedures for sanitization. Like you really got to be on top of this stuff. And you know, a lot of people are, I don't know if they're too shy to speak up and you know, you really got to look out for yourself because unfortunately the laws uh, governing these nail salons <laughs> are, are are horrible. I mean, they really are. I know Texas requires salons to have the autoclave. It's it's illegal to not have it. Unfortunately, Florida does not require it, so it's up to the consumer to be educated and make sure they have it. And another thing too, um, you know those uh, porous nail files. Those are supposed to be one-time use item because you know they're so porous you can't properly sanitize them. So. If you do have a salon that uses the autoclave, however, they're reusing the um, the nail files, that's another huge no-no because, you know, if someone has fungus, you know, and they're using the nail file or even beginning stages of fungus or whatever and it's contaminating the nail file, it's too poor so you can't sanitize it properly. So that's another thing too I look for is salons who um, are not too cheap and they're not reusing the same file on multiple clients, so I'm not a fan of that. So I always like to bring my own little um, Ziploc bag of files I can use. Okay, I just pulled in the parking lot. As you can see, here are my own nail files. The girl at the front desk, she, uh, she claims they don't reuse nail files, but just in case, I brought my own files. So this is what you have to do to protect yourself, because I'm telling you, it's all fun and games. It's all not so serious until you get an infection or a fungal toenail fungal fungal infection or a fingernail infection. Because I'm telling you, even if you have a good immune system, that stuff is nothing to mess around with. Like for example, when I take a shower at the gym, I I I always make sure I'm wearing my flip flops. I would never in a million years go in take a shower at the gym and walk around barefoot. And I've seen girls, they're literally walking around barefoot in the locker room and they're taking a shower barefoot. I'm like, what are you thinking? It's so easy to get uh, foot fungus, toenail fungus. Like you don't want to do that kind of stuff. So always make sure the nail salon is using autoclave. If it doesn't run, <laughs> run, run. Cause there are tons and tons of salons that are using autoclave. The only one genuine way to make sure that they're properly sterilizing their equipment and you're not going to get toenail, nail fungus, or any other kind of a thing is that they're using autoclave. And they're supposed to open their uh, tools in a, a little bag. It's going to be blue and sealed. And if it's a blue color, that means it's been properly sanitized in the autoclave. And they're supposed to open it in front of you. If they have their tools already, blah, blah, blah. Tell them, you know, you want them to bring a fresh packet and open it in front of you because you got to be really on top of this stuff. So it can be difficult to find a salon, a nail salon, who's really on top of things and looking out for your best interest instead of their, their top of the line. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm going to go in and get my nails done. There are my not so glorious nails. <laughs> okay, I just finished with my nails and, um... I'm not very happy. Uh, I don't know if they. Uh, I, I, I don't want. I don't mean to be a complainer or sound like I'm overly picky, but um, here's what the results are. Look how they didn't even put cuticle oil on me. Check out how ratchet my nails look, and I just came from the thing. Look at it. I wouldn't let a customer walk out of my front door with my nails looking like this. They didn't even put cuticle oil on me. Like what the heck? And another thing too is they're, they're very thick. You know, when I used to get uh, acrylic pink and whites, they would file the top down and it would be super thin. So it felt like more like my natural nail but these are super chunky and thick. And um, I asked her to, uh, and I, they, I have like some weird stains on my thumb here. <laughs> it's, I don't know if it's showing up on camera. It's super chunky and thick. 
Yeah, I don't know if this place just didn't do a good job or not. So I'm actually going to go to another salon right now, which is locally. They're just right up the street. And I know they use autoclave. So I'm going to go to the other salon right now because I'm curious what they're going to think about my nails. And let's see what, what they say because <laughs> I'm not very overly impressed right now. Okay, I just got back from the salon that I went for a second opinion. And I was definitely correct. The, the lady who did my SNS next gen powder dip nails, what do you want to call it? Uh, she definitely didn't drill them uh, thin enough. So uh, the salon I just went through for the second opinion, they, they drill the nails quite a bit thinner so that they're not as thick now. And they also kind of tightened up my cuticles that the other salon didn't do as good of a job with. So here are my nails. I mean, I like them. They definitely look uh, better than my ratchet nails I had before. Just so I, I really don't bite my nails. I think this will definitely help. So, I mean, they look nice. <laughs> I'll have to do YouTube video like this from now on. Or I'll just, I'll, I'll just go like this. <laughs> I'll just make YouTube videos like this, hide my face. Because now my nails look better than my face. And when I showed Cuckoo Nut my nails, he got scared of them. Here, I'll show you. Cuckoo Nut, do you like my nails? <laughs> he got scared of my, my nails. He's seen, he's seen me with uh, fake nails before, but not Cuckoo Nut. He didn't know what, he was like, whoa, what the heck is that? So for the time being, here are my new blinged out nails. And I, I know they're very short. Like I, I, can't, I can't stand, see how short they are? <laughs> Normally when you go like this, you can see the nail, I have them that short. So yeah, they would look better if I had them a little bit longer, but I, I can't stand having longer nails than this. So I kind of have like dwarf French pink and white nails. <laughs> so hope you guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video and you got something out of it. So Geraldine, do you like my nails? They're a little bit too high maintenance. You agree with me, Geraldine? They're, they're a little bit much. <laughs> so, oh my God, this is hilarious. I can't catch Cuckoo Nut. He's terrified of my French nails. He's so scared of them. I can't even, I can't even get him to go on my hands. Cuckoo Nut. manicure before. It's okay, Cuckoo Nut, let's go. I'm gonna get him some water. Jimmy, you don't care about my nails. You just like me to cuddle you. Why don't you tell Cuckoo Nut that my nails are pretty? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. <laughs> Thanks, bye. A long, long time ago This is the time of the apocalypse The dream of the 
the last team.